So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another lab that is most demanded by you securing cloud application using IAP. So first of all click on start lab and open cloud console in incognito window. In my case it is getting signed in automatically sometimes it may ask for username and password for that refer lab instructions. So now click on I understand from here the main part arises that is first we need to activate the cloud shell. So wait for the cloud shell to activate continue and then click on authorize so now in the description box of this video i have shared the repo so do check it out meanwhile in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video now enter the repo here now basically it will initiate some functions so basically in this lab we have to create an app and restrict it for unauthorized access so basically it is a security method by which you can only allow those people who are registered under a particular app to access the content so let's see as you can see finally we have to enter here the region so for the region you have to select from lab instruction so let's move to the lab instruction and find the region you can use Control F and the region as you can see here is the region so now just enter it enter the number and wait for the app to get deployed while like the video and subscribe to the channel and do check the playlist for all 10 labs, 10 badges. finally our app has been deployed now we will restrict the app so first of all let's move to the lab instruction and you check my progress so basically we won't get full score so for the two steps two tasks we need to complete it manually so wait for it so now from here we have to modify the app name so basically here we have to create an app for app name you can refer to the lab instruction or just use so now hit check my progress for this task and now copy this IAP paste on the search box and then open in new tab so basically by opening new tab you can either right click or just use the mouse wheel so wait for this IAP to load now here here we have to configure the consent screen so basically consent means you can use the user database for that particular app and we will enable the permissions so for that wait for the page to fully load here we will authorize the user basically we will authorize ourselves as a demo so now, now from here we can get started or other meaning so basically it. here we have to enter the app name and for app name you can refer to the cloud shell or just follow the lab instruction manual so you have two options depending on which you want to complete so wait for it now you can select the app name from here like this or just move to the lab instruction on task number one only so you can see application name is here copy carefully without any extra space now click on user and select the student email id now click on next and for app type it should be internal let me show you you can check here whether it's internal or external first of all minimize the cloud shell and as you can see wait a minute so as you can see the type of app is internal so now click on internal now select 
Now for email address, refer to the lab instruction, student email address. Now click on I agree, continue and then create. Now here we have to refresh the page. We have to select the app engine app. So for that, click on this toggle and click on turn on. So basically, we have turned on the security measure. So until we have given access to this username, they won't be able to open this app. So this will take some time. So as you can see, we did not get the score. So now wait for it. And finally, we got the score. Now we'll move forward to the main task. That is, we have to allow member to access the application. So for that, just we need to add the principal. So for that, go to the go to now the click on app add principal and select so basically 